March is National Nutrition Month, so today we're talking about making those healthy food choices. Joining us is Frances Largeman Roth. She's one of the most famous registered dietitians on television. Thank you for joining us today. Good morning to you, Frances. I'm excited to talk about nutrition because I feel like I've kind of used COVID as an excuse to let go of my healthy food choices. So let's start with why is it so important to make these healthy food choices? Well, Angela, you know, healthy eating is important all year round. Nutrition is the cornerstone of, of health, right? Of feeling good, boosting your immunity, and really longevity as well. So that's why I love it when March rolls around. Mm -hmm. Not only is it the start of spring, but also it's nutrition month, and I get to talk about my favorite subject all month long. I love it. Okay, so what's our first healthy food choice? Yes, so not only is it nutrition month, it's also peanut month as well, National Peanut Month. And as a peanut butter lover, that is just right on board with me. So in every spoonful of peanut butter, you are getting protein, fiber, and heart healthy fats. It's such a versatile ingredient. You know, here we have it spread on some whole grain toast. We have it in a chia pudding as well. So it can go sweet, it can go savory. We have chicken pad thai down in the front here. So, you know, also just eat it right off the spoon. Peanut butter is so fantastic. And you can get more recipes at Peanut Butter Lover. Com. I love it. You're right. You use it in dinner foods, lunch foods, and then in your smoothies in the morning. It's so good and such a healthy way to start the day. What else do you have there? Well, I'm glad you mentioned smoothies because I just wrote a book on smoothies called Smoothies and Juices. And blueberries are another fantastic ingredient that you can add to your smoothies for that boost of blue. And what's great about blueberries is that you can find them frozen all year round. And when they freeze them, they pick them at their peak of freshness and it really locks in the nutrients. And here we have a breakfast cake with blueberries a delicious toddy made with blueberries and also a quinoa power bowl. <laughs> so they're really versatile. You snack on them, use them in recipes. Go to grababoostofblue.com for more ideas. Yummy, yummy. You know, I just bought a juicer. And so yesterday, for the very first time, I put celery in it and I made celery juice to start the day. That seems to be a trend right now. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it definitely, it's, it's a trend. We've been seeing it more and more in the smoothie book. I actually have a celery juice recipe in there as well. You know, it's not gonna save the world, celery juice, but certainly it's high in potassium. And if you <laughs> like it, then go ahead and enjoy it. <laughs> okay, do you have anything else there in front of you? Definitely, minute ready to eat microwavable brown rice cups from Minute Rice. And these are great. They help you eat better when you can't, when you don't have time. And you can just microwave them, add all your delicious toppings on top, your protein. We've got this great Greek version here today with feta cheese and tzatziki, and it's super savory and it comes together in just five minutes. I am a huge fan of those. They are so easy. You throw them in the microwave for 90 seconds. I actually make my dog's food and I do ground wow. turkey and then I add the rice and then a little bit of dry food with it. And it's so easy. That's amazing. I also have um, Pearl's black ripe olives, which are grown and packed in sunny California. And when you pop open a jar or a can, you can really see and taste the difference with pearls. They're delicious, they're versatile. You can snack on them and use them in all of your Mediterranean style dishes. Great, Francis. Thank you so much for this great information today. And uh, where can our viewers go for more information? They can go to tipsontv.com.